Pocahontas County is one of the most rural counties east of the Mississippi. It's over 70% state and national forest. There are huge pipeline problems in West Virginia. Right now, uh, around 40% of the classes in grades seven through 11 are taught by uncertified or undercertified people. Oh, look at the bells on her house. So you have to wonder in that setting, uh, are you really providing uh, free and equal education to everybody? <laughs> if some people are expected to learn uh, mathematics from someone else who doesn't necessarily know mathematics. From the first maybe two years, two years into teaching math, I really started watching kind of the horizon of how schools do or don't support teachers to get better and how odd it is that teaching and learning is such a community exercise, but there really isn't community among educators in secondary math. So I'd been kind of building my own change theory for, you know, eight years or so. Yes. Don't you think like, yes? I mean, we're just me. developing this right now. I, so don't it, you guys think yes? It seems That would be otherwise. super weird, yeah. <laughs> the two main things that I'm up to are um, either working with individual teachers in their classroom. So I really believe in embedded uh, professional development. So either I'm modeling a lesson that we're trying to work on together, or the teacher is, and either way we're giving each other feedback on the the same set of questions. Or I'm organizing and orchestrating teachers to work together. Architects direction here, the pre number two. Like if you, if oh, you feel good about this problem, you better claim it as the architect. Like so I want to maybe be this actually this goes along like you, on your you think everything is fine and you're a you're you're on your way to be a teacher now and you're in charge for the rest of your career in your classroom. And it and it wasn't so much that I'm not in charge anymore, but it's so nice to have someone um, to emulate and to look up to. You, you know, even, even as a teacher, I still want to be a learner. Pretty traditional in a coaching model that a coach observes. We try to ensure that at least as often teachers are observing. Even if what I'm asking you to do feels super awkward today, I want you to just roll with it, okay? And then at the end, we'll talk about what worked, what didn't, and what kind of changes you guys think we should make before we kind of finalize this. Does that sound okay? <laughs> right, because it's hard to keep track of all that algebra in here. So compared to kind of working as a group with no structure at all, what was better about using these roll cards and what was worse? The math program before Joanna started implementing uh, some of the, the ideas that she has, uh, it, we were in rows. We were in rows. Here's the math book. We started chapter one. A teacher would get up in front. They would lecture. This is how you do the problems, and then the kids would sit and, and work on problems or have them for homework. See, when you're in rows, you're kind of in your own bubble. If you do get stuck on a problem, you're kind of scared because you don't want to ask your teacher. Each of you is going to have a problem eventually, and it's slowing down the process. Okay, so go ahead and start navigating. Would equal whatever number, and you'd have to divide it by 250. I, I truly don't know if I'd still be a teacher today if it wasn't because of Joanna. It's just, it's really nice to know that you have someone working so hard and who truly cares about you in your classroom, cares about your kids, but also cares about you as a person and makes sure that you're okay in your job. It's important that teachers are happy in their job so that they continue and want to, you know, spread the love of learning to their kids. I think that's super important. And she certainly spreads the love of learning to all of us as teachers. That's what you say. You be real. That's fine. We're not judging each other today, okay? I miss teaching uh, on a daily basis myself, and it would be really cool to think of a new version of teacher that isn't just a teacher, but is this hybrid teacher leader um, doing the work in their own classroom and then letting us be a little bit creative about how to get them outside that classroom and better network to other people. In so doing, I think we can retain way more really motivated and driven people in the profession of teaching um, and also allow them to grow one another. Um, as they learn.